All right, so <clears throat> what we're gonna do here, or what I'm gonna do here, is what's known as core twisting uh, hurl. And so to start with, I'm just gonna tie in this silver oval tinsel. This is a common material used, I'll hold it up in just a second, to do this. I'm just using extra small. And then next what I'll do is I'll take some peacock hurl and line up the butt ends. And we'll trim out the tip so I've got an even tie-in point. And you want to tie your hurl in at the same point as your uh, oval tinsel. And we'll just wrap that back and wrap it forward. Next, what you want to do, I'm going to get my thread out the way, is draw them all together. And the way I like to do it, you can do it, twist it by hand if you want, but I just like to clip on at the bottom with my uh, hackle pliers, but you want this all to be nice and taut. It's not working for me. That's better. And then we're just going to start to twist. And what this does is it reinforces the hurl. Uh, helps it keep from breaking, opens it up pretty well. You can see it's got this nice bushiness to it. Once you've done that part, just take your fingers and twist it to get it uniform. Now you're ready to wrap this hurl. And you can make whole bodies out of it. You can make your, you know, or if you just want to do just like uh, your thorax or whatever. You can do that. Just tie this off a couple of times. Bring my thread back forward. We're going to do another one. Okay. Uh, the next way you can do it is just with your thread. So what I like to do is I get my little thread base down here. Is I'll build a dubbing loop and bring it back. There's a loop method to this too, but I'm not going to show that on this video. And then I'll trim out my uh, dubbing loop, so I've got one strand of thread. And this time I'm going to use uh, ostrich hurl. And the same thing, line up your butt ends, trim out the front, so you've got an even tie-in point. Whoops. Get twisted up there. Tie these in at the same point as your thread, <clears throat> or the same side as your thread's hanging. And you're going to do the same thing. I just I'm using two different brightly colored ostrich hurls, so you can just kind of see uh, what it looks like when it's twisted up. So this will reinforce your uh, ostrich hurl. You can kind of get some cool color combinations out of these two. You can also uh, combine peacock and ostrich uh, to get some rather interesting effects. Um, so, back this off, tie it in. So there you go. That's how you uh, core twist hurl. Happy tying, everybody. Take care.